Down with CBS 4 News Consumer Alert. Could today be the first step in ending robocalls for good? Well, we all sure hope so. The government took steps today that could at least slow down the 5 billion robocalls that we all get every month. CBS 4's Laura Podesta explains how. The reason of this call is to inform you that the IRS is filing lawsuit against you. If you're tired of calls like this, you're not alone. I receive robocalls at home, in my office, on my landline, on my mobile. As a result, many Americans, myself included, rarely answer their cell phones unless the number is already in their contact list. Frustrated members of the Federal Communications Commission decided to do something about it. Approve. The chair votes to approve. The panel pushed through a measure that gives wireless phone companies the right to block robocalls automatically without needing the customer's permission. Cell phone owners will no longer have to opt in or download an app. It gives us an extra tool in our arsenal to go after the robocallers and the scammers. Verizon's Ronan Dunn says his company has already started using free call blocking features, including a measure before Congress called Stir Shaken. It would require all calls to carry an authentic digital signature, ensuring the number you see in the caller ID is legitimate. Is it plausible that I will never get another robocall again? Well, it depends on what you mean by a robocall, because there are certain calls that customers receive, say, from their financial institution, maybe at the time of elections, where some people may want to receive them, some people may not. It's not clear yet just how many unwanted calls will be blocked once all providers implement the technology. But experts predict we'll get far fewer spam calls than we do now. Laura Podesta, CBS News, Basking Ridge, New Jersey. Uh, annoying to a lot of people. Now, if a consumer for some reason wants to keep getting robocalls, they can opt out of the automatic service. The FCC doesn't require providers to offer the blocking service for free, but expects them to do so.